Hello everyone, you are welcome to how to solve this very nice system of equations. a squared is equal to b plus 43 and b squared is equal to a plus 43. Our job is to find all possible values of a and b. So let's start. Let's call this equation equation 1 and this equation equation 2. And from equation 1 we subtract equation 2. So this will become a squared minus b squared is equal to d plus 43 minus a plus 43. Next, a squared minus b squared is equal to, we remove brackets, then this will become d plus 43 negative times a will become negative a negative times positive 43 will become negative 43 and this uh, negative 43 will be cancelled out with this positive 43 and we write this a squared minus b squared a squared minus b squared this negative a will become positive a at left hand side and this uh, positive b will become negative b at left hand side is equal to 0. Now this a squared minus b squared will become a plus b times a minus b. And from these two terms we can factor out plus 1 and in bracket left a minus b is equal to 0. Now as you can see this expression a minus b this expression a minus b is common. So we factor out this a minus b and in bracket left this a plus b and this plus 1. In bracket left a plus b plus 1 is equal to 0. From here either this expression a minus b is equal to 0 or this expression a plus b plus 1 is equal to 0. From this equation we make this be the subject of this equation this will become b is equal to a and from this equation we make b the subject of this equation then b will be equal to negative 1 minus a. Now we recall equation 1. Equation 1 is a squared is equal to b plus 43. Equation 1 is a squared is equal to b plus 43. And we write equation 1 at this side too. a squared is equal to b plus 43. First, in this equation, we replace this b with the value of b a. So, this will become a squared is equal to a plus 43. We move these two terms to the left hand side, then this will become a squared minus a minus 43 is equal to 0. Now, this is a quadratic equation and it is not factorable, so we solve it by quadratic formula. According to quadratic formula, a will be equal to negative times negative 1 plus or minus square root of, in place of b squared, we write negative 1 squared minus 4 times, in place of a, we write 1 times, in place of c, we write negative 43 divided by two times in place of a we write 1. Next a is equal to negative times negative 1 will become positive 1 plus or minus square root of this negative 1 squared will become positive 1 negative 4 times 1 times and negative 43 will become positive 172 divided by this 2 times 1 2. Next, a is equal to 1 plus minus square root of 
1 plus 172 will become 173 divided by 2. So, from here we get two values of a. a is equal to 1 plus root 173 divided by 2. Second value of a is 1 minus root 173 divided by 2. Now, to find the values of B, we recall equation. We recall that B is equal to A. We recall that B is equal to A. So, we get the same values of B. B is equal to 1 plus root 173 over 2. And from here, B is equal to 1 minus root 173 divided by 2. Now, we solve with this equation. In this equation, we replace this B with this negative 1 minus A. So, this will become A squared is equal to value of B is negative 1 minus A plus this 43. Next, a squared is equal to this negative a and a negative 1 plus 43 will become plus 42. We move these two terms to the left hand side, then this will become a squared plus a minus 42 is equal to 0. And this quadratic equation is factorable. We write this a squared a squared and we split this plus a as a plus 7 times a minus 6 times a minus 42 is equal to 0. Now, from these two terms we can factor out a in bracket left a plus 7. From these two terms we can factor out negative 6 and in bracket left a plus 7 is equal to 0. Now, this uh, a plus 7 is common. So, we factor out this uh, a plus 7. Uh, in bracket left, uh, bracket left uh, this a and this negative 6. In bracket left uh, a minus 6 is equal to 0. From here, either this uh, a plus 7 is equal to 0 or this a minus 6 is equal to 0. From this equation, we get the value of a is equal to negative 7 and from this equation, we get the value of a is equal to 6. Now, to find the values of b, recall that, recall that b is equal to negative 1 minus a. Recall that b is equal to negative 1 minus a. So, when b is equal to negative 7, then we get the value of b is equal to negative 1 minus negative 7. This will become b is equal to negative 1 plus 7 and we get the value of b 6. When b is equal to positive 6, then we get the value of b is equal to negative 1 minus 6. This will become b is equal to negative 7. So, when a is equal to negative 7, then b will be equal to 6. And when a is equal to 6, then b will be equal to negative 7. And from here, when a is equal to 1 plus root 173 over 2, then b will also be equal to 1 plus root 173 over 2. And when a is equal to 1 minus root 173 over 2, then b will be the same 1 minus root 173 over 2. So, the final set of uh, solutions of uh, a comma b is equal to 1 plus 
root 173 over 2 comma 1 plus root 173 over 2 this is the first pair and the second pair is 1 minus root 173 over 2 comma 1 minus root 173 over 2 this is the second pair and the third pair is negative 7 comma 6 and the fourth pair is 6 comma negative 7. So, this is the final answer of this problem.